A pleasure to me all at last, and welcome back to Tiny Diecast Fury, where there is a lot of new models to choose from, and I do have lots to showcase for this special occasion of HGN history. So, let's get on going with a little something that came out of another Hot Wheels related piece of media, a pop cultural event in 1999 known as a PS1 game of Hot Wheels. And there were tons of console related Hot Wheels games that have been released so far. The most recent one being Hot Wheels Unleashed, also being one of the most significant in recent history. But Street Rotter, as you can see right here, was in fact part of this 1999 PlayStation game that we have in fact had some kind of distant memory over. It's a bit more of a cult renown or cult following as opposed to a good majority of PlayStation games out there like Crash Bandicoot, Spyro the Dragon, and who could ever forget the likes of the Rayman port from 95. Nonetheless though, with all the PS1 games that have come around, well, there we go. Another occasion where I've dropped a model by accident. But in any case though, Street Rotter is just a fantasy model that happens to be more of a realistic model. Yet another one of those things, and I've mentioned this before with realistic models appearing as fantasy models, but not quite as much as a good bunch of fantasy models that we know and love. In any case though, with the likes of Street Rotter being a little coupe convertible top, a large 30 style coupe that is in fact wheeled out to perfection. There's a nice matte finish on the top as you can also see with flame details in yellow and blue. The dark maroon of course is there for the matte finish. There's also chunks of chrome all over this thing including on the base as well as the engine itself which also doubles as the sideways pipes that goo along the side. Not across the entire length of the vehicle but nonetheless it's still a pretty impressive little thing that I can see doing well out there in some of my layouts. But maybe not all the time. In all honesty though, I do feel like that there are better fantasy models to pick, but in any case, Street Rotter is just one of those that you might want to try out. If you're one of those that seeks out models to use on your tracks, then this would be one of them. But make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, Follow me on social media and stay on the Hollywood side if you want to see more, go down on my channel.